Here in Toronto at Shoeless Joe's at the score after party with Mark Munoz will be facing Chael Sonnen very soon in February next year, UFC on Fox 2. This is very exciting for you to be facing a guy like Chael Sonnen. For sure, it's very exciting to be at this stage, the game in my stage of my career, it's awesome, for sure. We know that Chael Sonnen, he talks a lot. He does a lot of hype behind yeah. his fights. What's going to be your approach? Are you going to try and match him or are you just going to let him sell the fight? Yeah, he can sell the fight. You know, I'm not known to, like, talk any trash outside the octagon. I just let my hands do the talking. Now, I mean, he said a lot of things. I mean, even with build up with Anderson Silva, he said a lot of, you know, derogatory things. Yeah. Does any of that ever get into your mind, or do you just is it easy for you to push it away? Um, it's, it's easy for me to push it away. You know, me and Chael, we actually go way back. Uh, we got respect for each other, and, you know, I don't think he's going to talk trash, you know, really. Despite what everybody thinks, man, Chael is a good guy. And uh, we're managed by the same manager, management team, you know, so we're, we're, actually, uh, we're actually real cordial um, with one another. So let me ask you then, if you, if you have this knowledge of Chael Sonnen, what percentage of him talking to the media is him selling a fight, and what percentage is the real Chael Sonnen? Um, about 99%. Him? Is, is, no, is selling the fight. Okay. Yeah, so it's 1% him what about stylistically i mean uh he may have issues against a top level wrestler like yourself are you liking the matchup you know it's gonna be a tough fight no matter how how much you slice it it's gonna be a tough fight i know chell's gonna bring it i'm gonna bring it too and we're gonna see the best man win I want to talk a, lot of, a little bit about fighter sponsorship. It's a theme throughout the night. We're here at Shoeless Joe's. Yep. They sponsor a lot of fighters in the Score yep. Fighting Series, which is a, a, a league here in Canada. Yeah. For yourself and sponsorship, how important is it and how much of, of your income yearly is, is sponsorships? Sponsorship is huge. Uh, for us as fighters, this is how we support our families. This is how we want to build our retirement. Sponsorship is, um, is, is a must. You know, with, with us in the UFC right now, there's fighters not, not even making enough to actually support their family. Uh, to be able to train, there's guys fight, what, three, maybe four times a year? There's guys that are making $1,500, $2,000 a fight. I mean, that's not enough. So you need sponsorships uh, to fall back on to really, to really make ends meet at the end, end of the month. And for, for fighters to actually get to the level that I'm at, it takes a lot of time to be, to be there. So, so sponsorships help out a lot. And, you know, there, there's other creative ways to actually make an income uh, through the sport of uh, mixed martial arts. But when you're at the lower stage of the game, it's, it's really hard. You got to really fight your way up there. Is it gratifying for you to know that your next fight's going to be on such a big network like Fox? Yes, all the hard work is paying off. It truly does. And, you know, this is just, this is just something to, to let the people know that if you chase your dreams, good things will happen. And, you know, hard work really does pay off. So, you know, you really do have to surround yourself around people that are like-minded, that have the same aspirations. And, you know, if you surround yourself around champions, you're going to be a champ. So. One last thing, I just want to talk yeah. about the mental aspect. I mean, like yeah. we said, this is on Fox. Yeah. The winner of this likely is going to get a middleweight title shot. I mean, these are huge things in your career. I mean, a victory here propels you right to that middleweight championship. I mean, sure. how does that weigh in mentally, and how do you calm that down so that you can focus on the fight? You know, I feel like I've been, I've been uh, brought up this way in the sport of wrestling. I've been successful on all levels of my life when it comes to wrestling. Um, I think I've been brought up this way, um, you know, with a state champ, two, couple state championships in high school, a national championship, and then going to college and winning a national championship there, and then going to uh, the international level, competing that way, coming up short. But now I feel like those years of wrestling has actually prepared me for this stage to be able to uh, compete at that level. Um, Chael is the same way. He's, he's been at that level and he's competing at that level. The mental aspect is tough. When you ask somebody what does it take to become a champion, they're going to say a bunch of mental aspects. And so it's so very important for us to be able to train both the physical and the mental as well. So you don't know, it, it's, it's, um, there's a lot that goes on in the back when you're getting, when you're preparing for a fight. Almost to, almost to the fact, almost to the point where a lot of guys don't even want to walk out because the pressure is too much for them. Now, for me, 
I put it I put it all on the line because I put it I put it I put everything in preparation. I make sure I, I prepare 110% of my time to be able to go out there and do what I do. So I I place myself in a situation right now where I where I have a ton of guys that are, are like-minded that are pursuing the same goals as I have and I'm working extremely hard to get there. So I'm confident when I step inside the cage. So the mental aspect is very, very huge. The fact that Chael is also a friend of yours, does that factor in at all, or is that not even a factor? I grew up in the sport of wrestling, so we wrestled our friends all the time. We competed against our friends all the time. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's just business, and we can be friends afterwards. Winner, winner, winner buys dinner. Mark Munoz faces Chael Sonnen in 2012 for the middleweight championship number one contendership. Thanks for your time, Mark. Thank you.